Hello everybody and fellow Vikings. In this video I'll be showing you how I play Valheim modded. So I use a program called Thunderstore Mod Manager. And I use this program to launch the game. And as you can see these are all the mods that I use uh, to play Valheim. I don't always play uh, Valheim modded. Sometimes I just launch it from Steam itself and uh, play it from there. Um, but when there's things I need to get done then I'll, uh, I'll load up a modded version of Valheim from the Thunderstorm mod manager and if you go to Google, let's go to Google, we'll type it in, bink and it will bring up these choices for you on Google if you uh, if you typed it in on Google and you want to choose this one here it will take you to this screen you can download it and then once you've downloaded it just run it from your computer and um, it will bring up a window like this and you can type in what game to use this mod manager for um, so if I exit this program I'll, I'll show you where is it? exit over wolf and then uh, we'll load it back up again this is what happens when you load it it's pretty easy stuff pretty easy stuff and it will show you this screen um, so you just click select profile and uh, it will use the profile you made when uh, you first run this so yes that's the program that's the program to use anyway uh, if you want to play modded uh, Valheim and if you want to add the, these mods, just click here where it says online. And there's pages of them. <laughs> Literal pages of them, but you can uh, you can sort them and filter them and but the ones I use are they're all safe. Uh, they're pretty common as well. Um, some of these are um, added when you add a mod it will add another mod for you um, I can't remember the word for the term used for it so yeah there you go so this one is uh, to make all the mist in the mist lands disappear <laughs> this one adds uh, when you find a dungeon or a crypt or, or a mine and stuff like that if you've not been inside of it before this mod makes you give a better chance of um, generating larger dungeons having extra rooms and s stuff like that um, this is an extension mod from another mod this one is pretty self-explanatory no build dust because I don't know about you guys if you're builders um, I don't like that dust every time you place a wooden panel down and you know it's it's like you, you, it's like flower dust everywhere poof 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 and it's annoying and it and it lights up in the sun and it it's it's blinding after a while and then there's this one item stack and weight that is increased so whereas before you'd get a, like a stack of 50 wood it goes to 500 with this mod <laughs> um, and the weight of things is reduced largely as well and then we've got the good old infinity hammer which is what I use for doing custom builds um, I do do a lot of building in survival mode but to tweak up the builds I use the infinity hammer for example there's um, torches in the dungeons you can copy those torches and place them around your base 
so that you don't have to use the resin torches and have to f keep filling them up all the time. You know, little tweaks like that. And um, this hammer can copy any structure. It can copy any item. Um, yeah, it's a very useful hammer that is, especially for building. And then there's the server commands and world edit commands like god mode and fly mode. I, I tend to use those with the infinity hammer when I'm doing custom made builds. Um, and there you go. And some of these mods are controlled by this mod here. So there you have it ladies and gents. So uh, I'm gonna press here so you can see Steam is loaded but to use the mods for Valheim don't run Valheim from Steam. Have Steam loaded, yes, but reduce it into your taskbar and instead launch Valheim uh, from this by clicking Start Modded. Alrighty, so uh, I'll try and show you that other screen now. So if I... because there's no back button. <laughs> um, so if I click this and click it off again. I hope I'm explaining all this well enough for all of you to understand. Um, okay, we'll load it up again. It's very easy to use anyway, this uh, mod manager. So as you can see here, it says back to game selection. So if I click that, Yeah, this this is the screen you get first, I think, and uh, you can choose the game. You can set it as default, or you can search for the game up here. Um, but yeah, I've already uh, selected it for Valheim, so select you can select the platform as well, Steam. I hope my mods are still going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, and then you and then you get this one. So you go select profile, and there you go. And then you get all your mods from this tab here. Basically, when you find one you like, um, and just add it. You can you can turn them on and off easily uh, by using these. And you can also go into each one. And uh, oh, that's an associated mod. One second, let me find one that you can uh, mess about with. <laughs> uh, this one. Item stack and weight, let's go to that one. Well anyway, they've all got like settings you can you can tweak with them. Some of them do, some of them don't. Yeah, I think you have to click on this. But yeah, anyway, there you go, boys and girls. <laughs> so I will go ahead and uh, run Valheim, because I've got to go on it today and uh, get some work done. So just to show you how it works, start modded. Once it brings up this message, you can click that away. And uh, I'm going to put this on the second screen instead of reducing it. Because um, I need to uh, have this screen available. There we go. And when it loads up the when it loads the game, it will say on the side. I'll show you. So see here, you are playing a modded version of Valheim. Please note that this may change the original game experience. Blah blah blah. If you are experiencing any issues, la 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 la. Okay. <laughs> and in the top left, it will say what it's running to uh, play this game. So this thing here is running 11 mods. Now if you want other people to join your modded world, they have to have the same mods. Um, trust me, me and my friend went through this. and. Uh, Eventually, 
he got the same mods as me with the same launcher and he was able to come into my world so uh, we go to start game this is my server world this is my YouTube world. I'm going to go to my server world. I spend a lot of time here. See, it runs the game just like Steam does. In fact, it runs the game through Steam. So you can't really go wrong with this mod launcher. It's really easy to find, really easy to install. It's easy to search for the mods from the list. And it's easy to install the mods from the list. And, it, and it's easy to run the game from the mod launcher. If, if you don't have Steam open, and you try to run this game through the mod launcher, it will open Steam for you and load it from there. So there you go. There you go, boys and girls. Now, in this uh, server world, because I have those mods, server commands and dev commands, I can go into god mode and fly mode by pressing F5 god enter see it says god mode true if I choose fly enter I can fly now in fact while I'm here I'll fly out the door <laughs> and uh, I'll show you this, this, this is a custom build I did build this in survival mode but I use the infinity hammer to copy things from around other structures in Valheim and paste them at my base. So it's only things like this I use the hammer for. And to copy chests of resources like black marble and wood. So I'm not forever mining and chopping trees down to get a build done. So uh, as you can see, a nice little tour of my Black Fortress, this is my current project. This is all one compound, with dirt walls all the way around. And I use the infinity hammer to copy this structure. So if I look at it, if I look at this structure, like you would look at it in the Mistlands, if I press F5 and type in hammer, and press enter, hey up. Oh, that's how I did it for this. But that is what you do to copy a, an item. But this is what you do to copy a building. There we go. And then left click. And I have the structure. Wow, oh, I've got my whole base. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. So I can uh, actually copy <laughs> and paste my base. <laughs> mental. Absolutely mental. Let's get rid of that. But, uh, yeah, if you want to copy a structure... <laughs> Look at it with your hammer, right click to open up your hammer and look, and in the MISC tab you'll see you've got four hammers here. The first one is the vanilla one, the next three are modded. Okay, so you've got the pipette, which is what we did by typing in hammer. We've got the building pipette and the area pipette. I've never used the area pipette, but we'll choose the building pipette. And then... Uh, Left, cl left click on a building that you want to copy with that pipette and boom you've got it now you can put the hammer away while you've got this selected so if I press R my hammer's away so now I can zoom out right to get a better view and if I press R again it's still there now if I press 4 to put my hammer away it's not on my belt now but if I press 4 again, it's still there. So it remembers the last thing you copy. Okay, so I can get a sword out and start killing monsters, put my sword away, get my hammer back out, and carry on working. So that's how the... Uh, a little bit of how the uh, Infinity Hammer works. You can do a whole lot more things, um, but you'll have to look into that, guys. Um, so yeah, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful and uh, don't uh, cheat too much because it takes away the magic of the game and uh, 
although these are special powers, you use them wisely. Only use them if you have to use them, or if you really need to. Um, so right then, I'm going to leave it with you guys, and uh, enjoy playing modded Valheim. Goodbye!